This is the JVC PC X250. The first stereo that I ever had. Got this whenever I was younger, I think junior high. Something of that <clears throat> time range. It's got a well, and not the same antenna that it had. The original one broke right through here. And I just got one off of an old I wanna say it was a a little GPX portable tape player with a radio, or it was an LXI, Sears LXI unit. I don't remember. But, whatever it was, I took the antenna over that, and I'm using it on here. Um, this radio works perfectly fine. It's got your headphone jack, your FM mode. It's rated at 5 watts per channel. It has some decent sound for 5 watts per channel. Um... Got the digital tuner and all those things that you just find in everything. You know, it's hard to find in an analog. Well, if it's very cheap. But it has FM. Got the jog volume fixed on it. It's a little staticky on that station. I don't know about the AM reception. It's nighttime. It is. Oh, I don't know what time it is. Let me check. It's 7.50. No. So, Central Standard Time. Or, I don't know if it's daylight. I don't even know anymore what time is what. It's got a standard ferrite AM, AM antenna built into the interior of the unit. See, it's scanning and there's nothing coming up. Let's see if I can get our local talk radio station to come in. Nope. It said in the manual when I first got this to improve reception, move it around, but I don't feel like moving. Well, here's AM. It's got a dual cassette deck on it. With on the recording deck, it has a CD synchro recording, full automatic stop. Both are full automatic stop though. On the tape. I don't even know what this is. It's it AM at 50. I don't know where it's from. Then skill. Hey. I still believe in you. 90s. When I was little, I used to be country, believe it or not. <laughs> but, um, hey, it's a good station. I could say this is a preset. Got a good sound to it. On flat, it helps the static better. <clears throat> Pop is it best. <clears throat> Not bad sound on AM either. This is really the first time I've really played around with AM reception. Here's FM. A good FM sound as well. I'm standing behind my light, as you can see it reflecting here. You can see the display better. It's a turquoise color. And green indicators on the tuner, CD, and tape. I have a CD in there, and a CD player does still work. So, this was out in Dad's shop. Hmm, made a weird sound. Wait for here, here, it's never made that little noise before. It's not the best, like, bassy, high quality sounding unit, but it's good. Speaker grills are not removable, but I broke them some years ago. Only one name and in doing that, I messed up the desk cap on the speaker. Only one fame stands alone. I do look a bit faded in person. I think it's supposed to be the same dark color as this. 
you look at that slightly one person that looks so faded. It was under a fluorescent light in that shot that's on a stool bench. Yeah, everything works good on there. I did some. The volume knob was out, so I cleaned it with my sh my Radio Shack's you know cleaning spray that I had purchased for ten bucks. I know it's ridiculous, but these are functional tweeters and full range speaker, and these are actually really quiet. You really can't hear most of it. You get enough trouble from this. I mean, you can hear it. Slightly, let me put my ear up to it actually. Just very lightly. You can hear a good bass when you put your ear up to that actually. But you know, here's our vent. The bass vent is right there. You have all your basic, <clears throat> you know, repeat. You can program songs, put it in random mode, you know, basic CD functions. Ugh. Excuse me. Auxiliary input. You know, don't have anything hooked up to it. Well, I had my iPod hooked up to it earlier, but that's what I'm using to make the video. Got your tape player on it. Tape heads need cleaning. Have a old tape that I recorded. So it's that's an old tape, really. I made that when I was in eighth. 7th, 8th grade, you know, <laughs> a long time ago, and now I'm a post-grad, college-age person. Good, it's, it's okay for 5 watts, you know, older unit. That's good. Um, brought it in for cleaning and repairs, keep it up, you know, just standard upkeep on it. You know, got a CD in there. One of my Christian music CDs that I have. Makes a little noise, I don't know, but it's he's a JVC PC X250. Does have a remote control that's out in the shop. I don't wanna I didn't bring it in. But both tape heads need cleaning. Let me you can see my messy room for a second to get my light. My heater, my Gigaware iPod dock that I purchased at Radio Jack. You can take a look at the tape inside of there. It's not one to adjust good. There we go. It's dirty. Needs a good cleaning. And that's got the tape in it. It's got a, some discoloration on the tape reading head. Oh, well, that's flickering. I fixed it. <laughs> Needs a good cleaning up inside of there. I need to get a cleaner. Probably can vacuum it out. I don't know. But <clears throat> you can see I'm a light. There's a bulb trying to burn out on it. Headphone jack, hyper bass sound, bass booster. You know, all buttons and electronic everything. So. Yep, this is the JVC PCX250, and this is Class of Zuki A10's first audio equipment video.